So it looks like 343 is making some big changes to the infection mode reportedly coming out in Season 4 for Halo Infinite. If you guys remember, I've covered this previously on the channel throughout, well, the year of Halo Infinite being out. First time we saw a glimpse of Infection was from our favorite leaky boy, Sir Asia, talking about this image of the Infection mode being in Arena. Makes sense right there. And he tweeted out up below it saying, S4 meaning Season 4. Then I covered this Bathro Spartan leak showcasing functional Infection within some custom games. And basically, it's kind of buggy right at the moment when he was showing it, but it was doable. As you can see, he got killed by a bot that was supposed to be a, a infected player, then became infected himself, like a classic infection. But now we have some new information. Another good source for leaked Halo information, Halo.API showcase this image right here, which looks like, yeah, looks like infection, nothing too crazy happening there. But when you take a close look at it, that looks like a Ratus, that AI from season two's narrative event. And it doesn't really look like this Spartan is like a traditional zombie kind of looking character or color change or anything like that. This looks like a typical Spartan, but with like the AI face over them. And the 343 employee even retweeted the image saying like, we got some cool stuff coming for you guys, right? But now we look at that tweet, it's not there anymore. He deleted the tweet, which makes me think that this is a legit leak and actually something that's going to happen with infection for Halo Infinite. Here's another image from Halo.API that showcases, well, the API of Halo Infinite showcasing that like there's a little bit of an infection happening within the code of Halo Infinite. Interesting thing says has CSR meaning false. So could they turn off skill based matchmaking for infection? That would be great. We'll have to wait and see. And like how we talked about saying this looks like Eratus being on the cover of the Spartan's face, kind of like infecting them with like an AI bot kind of thing. Well, a person actually responds saying, is this Eratus displayed over a Spartan, which makes sense. And the Halo.API says, oh, that makes so much sense as Eratus will be the default announcer. This would make a lot of sense as the season two narrative event showcase Spartan Din being infected by Eratus, which kind of made him not able to function properly. This kind of led to us having the AI character as someone you can have within the multiplayer experience. So this would actually make a lot of sense. We also do know that the story of Dan, Eklund, and all these other Spartans that were introduced with the season two narrow event are going to continue on as well. So this is not going to be like a one-off story thing that we saw within season two. This is going to be throughout the rest of the year. We're going to see the following of these Spartans. These are going to be the only really narrative style of content we're going to see within Halo Infinite for quite some time. And this would make a lot of sense narratively about having a Ratus being like the infection kind of thing. And also I think it kind of plays into a lot with the art style of Halo Infinite where being able to choose your own Spartan color, your customization and things like that. Because traditionally within this mode, it was that once you become infected, you generally turn green, right? Well, there are no team colors within Halo Infinite. And it seems like they can't really force that to happen as we don't really have that in custom game options. So it makes sense though, like how do you identify an infected player? Well, the best way to do that is by overlaying them with saying like Eratus or something like that on their face, which would make a whole lot of sense. But we'll have to wait and see until we actually get some concrete information about it. And we're not gonna know much about it until likely June when it comes season four. Let me know what your thoughts are about this artistic change when it comes to infection. Personally, it doesn't really bother me. If anything, I think it's actually kind of cool as basically it allows you to maintain your customization within the multiplayer, but also be able to identify visually what players infect and which players not be on just having a sword. 